Right, so after Lath Kildale, we've decided to just come up to our below Stone Circle. It was only about 15 minutes in the car. Yeah, we thought might as well while we're in the area. Also, there's a um, Gib Hill burial mound as well to go and check out. Yeah, so let's have a quick look. So we are at our below Stone Circle and Gib Hill Barrow. It's a 6,000 year old ritual and funerary monument, large stone circle within a henge, adjacent well-preserved burial mound, a site of early archaeological investigation. So let's go and have a look. were set around the edges of both the Henge and Gibb Hill, carved with the initials VR and GR. These refer to Queen Victoria and King George V. The R meaning Regina and Rex, respectively. Right, so there's your earthen works around the outer. It goes in a circle with your ditch down there. And then, as you can see, the stone circle going around the outer ridge and the stone cove in the centre. That's what the earthen works looks from outside of the circle. So our below is the most important prehistoric site of the East Midlands. Within the earthen bank, which you can see around us, and the ditch, a circle of some 50 white limestone slabs, all now fallen, surrounds a central stone cove, a feature found only in major sacred sites. Nearby is the enigmatic Gibb Hill, which is a large burial mound. Gibb Hill, Tomb of the Ancestors. The earliest focus for ceremonies on this hilltop was the burial mound at Gibb Hill. Such tombs served as a focus for ceremonies linking the living to the dead and may also have marked the community's ownership of the surrounding land. A round barrow was built on top of the first tomb in the early Bronze Age up to 2,000 2, years later. Buried inside this mound, mourners placed animal bones, a food vessel and flint tools inside the grave. Nice. The bones were all that remained of joints of meat given either to accompany the deceased on their voyage to the world of the dead or as a symbol of fertility. Right, so this is Gibb Hill and this is the burial mound. Feels really strange walking up a burial mound. Wow, those views as well. A little stone there. So I still can't get over that I'm actually stored on a burial mound. It's just quite surreal really. It just goes to show that there is history everywhere. It's amazing. But yeah, it's mad and there is really good views from up here as well overlooking Staffordshire just noticed this uh, that looks like a, a little apple but also has got a tiny bouquet of flowers there Someone's actually put like a ribbon on it, don't know if you can see. 
and they've put this on on the stone just at the base of the burial mound so yeah well i think that was very interesting that stone circle yeah it was wasn't it yeah it was, yeah. It was uh, amazing really yeah i mean to be honest i find stone circles quite interesting anyway i mean we've been to stonehenge we've been to the nine yeah. ladies and now are below and yeah and the the burial mound was just it's just i don't know it's just something about it when you sit up there it just feels really <laughs> surreal yeah it's very impressive and the landowners are really lucky to have that on their land definitely definitely <laughs> so yeah it was well worth a trip out wasn't it yeah and we definitely suggest coming to arbolo if you're if into, you're ever in the area if you're into stone circles yeah you know, yeah, definitely come and, come and have a look. Well, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for coming with us on this mini tour. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you on the next one of our Week in the Peak series. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. Bye.